Hello and welcome to the International Education Week. My name is Mansi Dev Thermane, and I'm the Acting Program Manager here at Center for Global Engagement at College of San Mateo. I came to the US as an international student from India to pursue my master's program. I'm lucky to call the Bay Area and San Mateo City as my home. We at College of San Mateo International Student Programs welcome students from all over the world to share their cultural diversities and experiences that enhance our program and student body. We have some special events planned for you this week to celebrate our international student community. We would like to kick off this week by welcoming all of you by playing videos shared by our district and college administration and staff members. So welcome once again and hope you enjoy this event and upcoming ones to follow. And next, I would like to welcome Remy Harada, our retention specialist at College of San Mateo to speak a few words, after which Silvana Grima, our program services coordinator will follow. Thank you. Engagement or international education programs. Um, I wanted to say I was an international student as well. Um, and I used to come to the, or I came to the US on, for my bachelor's degree and I ended up never leaving. Um, I've been on an F1 visa. And then after that, I was on an H1B. And then now I'm on a green card. So maybe some of you are interested in those processes. So if you are, then stop by my drop in and then I'll share what my processes were like. Nobody's process is gonna be exactly the same, but at least similar. Um, and I'm also the one behind the Ask CSM International email. So if you get an email from me or anybody else in the staff, please make sure to respond to us. <laughs> and ne off ne next to uh, Silvana. Hello everyone, good morning or good evening, uh, wherever you are in the world. Um, my name is Silvana Grima. I'm Program Services Coordinator here in the International Ed Program, um, the Center for Global Engagement as also, it's also known as the Center for Global Engagement. Um, I am first generation San Francisco native. Uh, my father being from Malta, my mother being from Peru. So uh, international has always been a huge part of my life. Um, it's been very, uh, working here has been wonderful. It's almost been six years since I've been here. So um, I just wanted to share that I've been working, um, I've enjoyed meeting all of you either through the application process or if I've met you in person, I love that. And hopefully one day we'll be able to meet you again in person. Um, I love meeting those who represent the world and who bring such a cultural richness to CSM community. And that is all of you. Um, I'm so happy you're here to join us. And um, our students have inspired me, kept me on my toes and have brought so much light, making my work day every day a joy. So I hope you enjoy this week. It's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of great events. Um, and yes, reach out to us. I'm at CSM International at smccd.edu, or you can drop by my drop-in anytime, or not anytime, when I'm scheduled, but you could drop by. Thank you. Thank you, Silvana. I just wanted to mention that we are recording this session so that we are able to share this video with all our students around the world throughout the day. So uh, just so that you know, we are recording this session. A little bit about myself, which I didn't mention before, like Remy, I came here from India as an international student and uh, been there, done that, uh, you know, got my F1 visa, did my CPT, did my OPT, uh, got a green card, and now I'm a citizen here. So I just want to uh, let you guys know that everyone is welcome here. We are here to share our experiences. This is your home. Uh, we will try to be your surrogate parents as much as we can. We want you to come and talk to us and, you know, not only share your joys, but also any sorrows. And if we can help you in any way, that's our our motto here um, at um, International Student Program at College of San Mateo. I see Christy, our uh, VP of uh, Student Services here. Christy, if you don't mind, uh, you know, sharing a few thoughts with us and welcome. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Mansi. So welcome, everyone. So exciting that we have an international week to celebrate. I think especially um, when in the last, what, 18 to 20 months, we haven't been able to maybe travel or move as freely as we would always like to. It's so lovely to have 
you know, um, people from different places and cultures and um, backgrounds to be able to share and, and learn from and be with even in our Zoom room, if not um, in our own classrooms and, and other experiences in our life. So um, I too was an international student. I was a student here in um, American University and studied myself overseas, was an international student in St. Petersburg, Russia. So um, I had kind of the flip experience and it was such an, a wonderful experience. So I'm very encouraged to see how many students we have involved in our international program. And I'm really encouraged to see that even in the Zoom room days, we have the ability to come together and celebrate um, all of the wonderful things that we are able to share with one another in this space this week. So just thank you for coming and I'm so glad to see you here. And I'm looking forward to also being enriched um, and hearing from folks this week. So thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Christy. I appreciate your time. What we're gonna do next is we have a few videos from our college administration. So we would like to play those for you. They couldn't be here in person. So they made sure that they sent us their videos. We're gonna start off with um, a welcome from our college president, Dr. Taylor Mendoza. I'm sorry. So what we're going to do next is uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Shelvina. We have her video. She's our office assistant. We are, Hi, Shelvina. I see her in the screen. Hi um, and welcome. Uh, but we do have a video from her. So we're going to play that video for you next. And after that, we'll go to Dr. Taylor Mendoza. Hello, everyone. My name is Shelvina Singh, and I am the OA2 at the Center for Global Engagement. I was born in Fiji Islands and with my family, I migrated to the US when I was 10 years old. I have been a student on campus and I've graduated from Skyline College. I went on to further pursue my bachelor's degree in psychology from San Francisco State University. I am your primary point of contact for making appointments with counselors and staff in the program. I am also responsible for any general inquiries received by students, faculty, staff, and guests for the office. I am so excited to meet all of you, and I'm here to support you all. So please reach out to me for any questions and concerns. Thank you so much. Bye. Greetings, everyone. My name is Dr. Jennifer Taylor Mendoza, and I am the president of College of San Mateo. Welcome to International Education Week, a week where we have the opportunity to celebrate the benefits of international education and global experiences worldwide. It is an avenue for us to inspire everyone on campus and beyond to broaden their perspectives through global learning foreign languages, international exchange and travel, and teaching and learning. It's very exciting to take the time to just honor our various cultures and all the rich diversity we all bring. A global citizen is someone who is aware of and understands the world around them and their place in it. They take an active role in their community and work with others to make our state, our nation, and the world around us more peaceful, sustainable, equitable, and justice-centered for future generations. It is important that we co-create this world so that we are able to solve real-world problems in a justice-centered and diverse manner. I am often reminded of this quote by former Secretary General of the United Nation, Kofi Annan, who once said, I am often asked, what can people do to become a good global citizen? I reply that it begins in your own community. And we understand this at the College of San Mateo, that it needs to begin with our community. College of San Mateo is committed to addressing the broad educational needs of the local and world community by fostering success and ensuring equitable outcomes for everyone. I am so excited about this week and I hope that you have an amazing experience. Thank you. 
That was lovely. Thank you, Dr. Taylor Mendoza. Um, next, we, I would like to introduce Dr. Jing Luang. He's a provost at the District of College of San, uh, SMCCD, and um, he has a short video for us. Next. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for the opportunity for me to enjoy this occasion with you. My name is Jing Luan, Provost of International Affairs for the three colleges in this district. The other two colleges are Kenyatta College and Skyline College. I'm also the president of American International Recruitment Council, AIRC. The organization that issues standards for companies recruiting students to the US. AIRC is authorized by the US Department of Justice to issue the standards. You'll all have come in a great year. CSM is about to be 100 years old. It's one of the oldest colleges in the US. It was first a college that prepared students for Berkeley and Stanford universities. It is now ranked number two among all community colleges in the US as well. You are the luckiest students in so many ways. The campus is beautiful. The location is surrounded by the most famous companies in the world. The college has over 100 universities, including UC Berkeley, UCLA, Santa Clara University, USC, SUNY, Stony Brook, Wesleyan, Bentley, on and on. These universities would accept your course credits, and most of these 100 plus universities even give you a guarantee for your admissions as a transfer student. While my job is not to work and meet with you all on a daily basis, but I am happy to tell you that the faculty and staff at CSM are most outstanding. They are outstandingly friendly, profoundly knowledgeable, and they really care. I have something very exciting to end my welcome remarks. I just returned from Washington, D.C., where I received the Presidential E Award of Excellence on behalf of the three colleges. This is the U.S. government's highest honor given to us for our work in expanding international education. We were the only community colleges ever to have received this prestigious award since this was established some 60 years ago. This award is indicative of the great work our colleges have done for our students. That includes you. And it means that you will have the best opportunity to have a great future with us. Enjoy your international week. Enjoy your learning and enjoy your time here. Take care. Thank you, Dr. Jing. Next, I would like to play a video that Christy, our VP Student Services, was kind enough to share with us. Christy, I know you're here, but we would love to share the video. Um, so, Christy, your video is next. Thank you. <laughs> Hola. Bonjour. Très utile. My name is Christy Ridgway, and I'm the Acting Vice President of Student Services here at CSM. And I'm here to welcome you to International Education Week 2021 and to share a little bit about my story as an international student. So before I was acting vice president of student services, before I was an ESL faculty member, I was an international student and studied over in St. Petersburg, Russia for a year. I think my interest came back when I was a young child, actually, and had to move about every three years due to my father's work. Moving around a lot created a curiosity in me. I started to become more interested in travel and people and cultures that were different than myself. So as I got older in high school and then in college, I learned three languages and then I looked for an opportunity when I went away to college to spread my wings even more and study abroad. 
won't tell you how long ago it was exactly, but it was not long after the Berlin Wall fell and communism had fell, fallen as well. And it was an just amazing time to be there during that history to see those events unfold during the transition from communism. And one of the things that I most remember are the rich history and the culture, of course, but especially the people and their stories and their heart and their resolve in building a future that was going to be brighter for them coming out of communism. And one of the things looking back that I would like to share with you and encourage you to do is to explore and engage yourselves both uh, in but also outside of the classroom. Uh, one thing that I came to realize when I was a study abroad student studying overseas in Russia was that yes, classes of course are super important and I studied hard in those, but the, the learning experience was also just so incredibly rich outside of the classroom and to take advantage of those learning and opportunities as much as I could. And so I did. And I'm forever grateful because I have a lot of those memories in addition to the things I learned in my classroom. Uh, to show you a few mementos, um, for instance, the art was just incredible in St. Petersburg, Russia. That was the old capital before communism. And so rich history there of um, culture and art in particular. And so one of my finds, of course, is the Matroshka doll, which are those nesting dolls where if you break the doll in half, it has another one inside and then another one inside. So it's a whole series of dolls nesting inside of one another. Um, so I have one of those in memory of my trip to Russia and studying there for a year abroad. And so the art was amazing in the city. So I encourage you to get out and study, you know, different aspects of the culture, including the art. I also had an opportunity at the time to have a tour and explore and learn more about their Naval School in St. Petersburg. And, um, you know, again, going through such a transition from being communist to not, um, it was a really interesting time to see how they were navigating that. And they were so pleased that there was an American interested in their history, their culture, and um, they so generously opened their doors to allow me to come in and tour their facilities, um, sit down and eat with them, and they gave me another souvenir to send me off, which was one of their naval hats. So also some fun mementos from that experience. Um, so yes, a few fun things to put on my shelves to remember the experiences, but really the experiences themselves, especially outside of the classroom are so valuable. So again, study hard, learn a lot in your classes. But one thing I would like to leave with you and encourage you to do is exactly what you're doing now. Engage outside of the classroom, share, connect with others, celebrate, and enjoy what you can learn from one another outside of the classroom as well. It's such a rich uh, way to be able to really learn and apply and be um, an international student in the fullest sense of the word. So. Thank you for having me, and I look forward to seeing you in other parts of International Education Week. Thank you, Christy, for sharing your experiences and such sound advice for us and our international students. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, next, we have on our academic, international academic advisor, Lydia Chen. Hi, my name is Lydia Chen. I'm your international student counselor here at the College of San Mateo. I was born in China and I'm bilingual in English and Mandarin. I earned my master's degree in counseling from San Jose State University. I have been working with international students at CSM since 2018. I love helping students to achieve their educational goals. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I hope you enjoy our International Education Week. Although we don't have a video from one of our part-time international student counselor, I would like to 
uh, share with you her information. Her name is Umaira Amin, and she welcomes all of you. You will be working with her and Lydia if you join College of San Mateo or you're already here as a current student. You will meet her on your journey here as a student. Next, we would like to play a video for you from all our ambassadors who are currently working with us in our office and play such an integral part to make this program a success for all of us. Hi folks, my name is Dilek and I'm one of the international student ambassadors at CSM. I'm from Turkey and my major is psychology. You can find me on Zoom during my office hours, send me a message on Unibody or contact me through Canvas. Please feel free to reach out to me whether you have a question or want to chat. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Melak and I am one of the international student ambassadors at CSM. I'm from Egypt majoring in architecture and this is my second year at CSM. We're very excited to share what has been planned for this event and hope you enjoy it. Also feel free to reach out to me by joining my office hours on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays if you have any questions or you can contact me via Canvas or email if you want a faster response. Hi everyone, my name is Molly Liu. I'm a student outreach on the team. I'm a training student majoring in English. You can find me on Unibody, WeChat, or Canvas. Unibody on the Apply Now page of CSM International Education Program website and WeChat ID as CSM Student Outreach, all lowercase. Regarding any question on CSM or CSM application, 我会想要普通话语语和干发，欢迎向我提问有关CSM和申请的问题，我会尽力提供准确、清楚的答案。Be sure to reach out to us. Thank you. Thank you so much, ambassadors, for this lovely video. I do want to say one thing uh, is that it's really important that you become part of our community by engaging yourselves, not only in participating of events, such as you know what we have coming up this week, but also be a part of our community by coming into our office or by emailing us, stay in touch with us. We would love to hear from you so that you know there is a sense of community that is being built for you guys with us. I'm so happy to see so many of you here. I do want to say we have um, events coming up this evening. We have a game called um, Guess the Flag. It's, it's going to be a fun event. It starts at 5 p.m. California time, and we will be sharing the Zoom link with you once again during the day. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Oops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. And please never hesitate to reach out to us at askcsminternational at smccd.edu or csminternational at smccd.edu. From all of us here, we welcome you. And we look forward to meeting each and every one of you very soon. Have a lovely day and a fantastic week. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Virtual background, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>